Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. We're looking at a Sony Veo SV151G today, uh, which has a display issue, which I think is a display cable. Um, so I'll show you what we've got here. If I just tilt the screen, watch, look at the picture very carefully here. Oh, typical, it's not doing it for me now. Okay, well firstly, I don't know if you can hear the little bubble. Um, we're getting constant hardware disconnected noises when I move the, the screen and if I get it at just the right angle we get flickering on the screen and stuff like that. So the long and the short of it, there we go, I don't know if you saw that one there, hopefully that will come out. Um, the long and the short of it is it flickers when you get the screen at a funny angle. Now because this happens when I'm moving the screen back and forth and not when I twist it or press my fingers around the edge of the screen, um, I'm pretty certain that this is the cable and not the panel. So we're going to uh, disassemble the laptop and take a, do a visual inspection on the cable and see if we can find out what the matter with that is. So let's shut this thing down. The USB disconnect, well, the hardware disconnect sound that we're getting, that I believe is the webcam um, cutting in and out because the webcam will be on the display cable and that is essentially a USB device. So if there is a break in the display cable, then that webcam is going to uh, appear to Windows as if it's being plugged in and unplugged all the time. So um, that is also causing various USB error messages to appear, so it's all linked together. Okay, let's, um, let's take the covers off this so we can inspect the display cable. Okay, so it's worth pointing out at this point that broken display cables are actually fairly uncommon. We did see one recently the last time I did a display faults video, um, however they are still very uncommon and I don't think I've seen one in a Sony before. So here is our display cable here, it's this fella coming out of the display connector then it goes along here up through the hinges and into the display assembly. Um, and obviously because there, is a, because there is a hinge point in the cable where not only does it do a 180 degree bend, but that also flexes when the display is opened and closed, it's a very vulnerable point for the display cable in any laptop. So that's where I'm expecting to see the problem. Um, but having a look, I'm not seeing any obvious signs of distress here. I'm looking for obvious breaks in the cable, obvious kinks, that kind of thing, and I'm not actually seeing that. We might have to take the display assembly off and get the front bezel off and check in there as well. So let's do that. Unfortunately, this means I'm gonna to have to unplug all this, all this other stuff as well. So let's keep disassembling. These hinges are super loose, which is not a good sign either. It's possible that the hinge on, in the display assembly has been pinching. That might be where we're gonna find our issue. So we're down to the display assembly, let's keep going. We're gonna get this front bezel off so we can expose the other side of the hinges.
Well, this is where I'm expecting to see the issue, down in here, and we can see there's a fairly notable indent on the display cable there, where it's been in that plastic hinge, but there's nothing horrifying, there's no exposed wires or anything. Let's just uh, pull you out of there. Yeah, so there's a bit of a twist on the cable, but again, I, nothing that I think is horrifying. This looks okay. I'm just having a look at the top webcam. Um, no, that's not going to tell me anything. Hmm. Right, let's plug this into the motherboard and start it up so we can see if we can replicate the problem uh, in a test environment where we can poke the cable and stuff. So let's get the laptop set up again. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this this way around, I think is the easiest. Okay, so we're all set up here. We've got our, um, our charger plugged in, the DC jack reconnected, and we've got the screen cable connected. And as you can see, I've got this flex here now, so I've matched the probe it. I plugged in a mouse and keyboard as well, since the laptop is in pieces. If I push the power button on the other side, the laptop will start and we have a picture. So let's get that into Windows just so we can clearly see what the display is doing without it changing on us. All right, okay, so we're still loading stuff in the background, but that is close enough for me. So let's start poking this cable. So I'm looking for flashes in the screen. There we go. So let's just try pinching a point on the cable. So if I put my finger there, we know that anything that I'm doing with the wire doesn't affect the connector or the panel at all. There we go. So there is clearly a problem with the cable at this point here. That's if I'm holding that down so it can't move past my finger. There we go, there's our flickering. So the cable is clearly broken. Um, this means that we can prove that it's not the panel. We don't even have to take the panel out to test this. We can clearly see that there is a break in the cable at this point. So it's time to get a new display cable for this thing. I will see you guys after the cut. Okay, display cable acquired. Nice new one from eBay. So we now need to remove the LCD from this so we can fit that. Uh, so screws around the LCD and that will come out. Okay, right, so we'll connect the LCD first, because that's kind of the point where we center the cable around. Right, now we'll flip that over, and we need to route the webcam cable up the back. Now this will have some kind of way it goes. However, I probably need to sort of slightly flex this and route it. I'm gonna start just by plugging that in actually. And then we'll just see where it falls. Okay, so that's going to go down the back. And this cable is fairly flat even when it folds, but we're just gonna try and put the least number of folds in it as possible. and then we'll just lay that down like so. So now with the LCD located, there's not gonna be any uh, kinks in the cable behind that are gonna press into the back of the LCD. That's in position. Right, so let's just route this through the bottom of the here. So our new cable is missing the grounding wire, but I'm not too fussed about that because there's going to be plenty of ground pins on the connector anyway, so we're not, we're not really bothered, that's not a big deal. Uh, 
Okay, right, let's tighten up all these other loose screws now. So I'm gonna go around every screw on this display assembly and just tweak that up. I wanna be, uh, I wanna go just into the bite point with these. They want to be nice and tight, but don't graunch them because you're screwing into plastic, so you'll just break it. But just a little bit tighter than you'd normally do. There we go, our hinges don't wobble anymore now. And we can put the front bezel back on. I should probably test this before I go any further. Yeah. I usually run the risk because I don't mind taking things apart again, but for the sake of good practice, let's check our work. Okay, same test as before. We're plugged in to the display and we've got a DC in cable power on. Yeah, there we go. We've got picture. That's good enough for me. Good. So let's reassemble. Boop. Okay, right, we're back into Windows. And now I can flex the screen and there's no flickering and we're getting no bongs from Windows saying that the webcam is being connected and disconnected over and over again. I'm happy. Right, thank you very much for watching everyone. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.